How to fight a stop sign ticket in Ontario. The best answer that I can give you would be first, I am truly hoping that you've taken the time to look at my disclaimer video. At this stage, the best answer I can give you is how not to fight that ticket is, is probably the best way to guide yourself. By way of an example, if you were considering representing yourself on a matter such as this. In my experience, I've had clients that have approached me and they've asked questions and, and presented facts, which would be, well, I, I know that everything that I did at that particular stop sign was safe. There was no vehicles affected. And I considered what I did a rolling stop and I ended up with a ticket. Well, when you self-represent, okay, when you do not rely on the advice of someone who does this on a daily basis, what can happen is you can get in there and you can self-incriminate. Meaning, if you've told a prosecutor, for example, that you, you slowed but you didn't stop, they've won the case at that point in time. So part of what you say in these meetings are, are very important. It, the illusion is on uh, an offense such as this, that, um, that you slowed and did everything safe and therefore I shouldn't be convicted is really not the answer. And, and that's part of the problem uh, that I find uh, prospective clients that have gone to court have not done well. I understand why people are concerned about these types of offenses. It does carry a fine. It does carry demerit points and it will eventually end up on your driving record. And now that driving record is uh, presented to your insurance company and inevitably will increase your rates. So the, the, the answer is in part how not to represent yourself because all of these cases are unique. Every case that happened, whether it's for you, whether it's for your wife or your friend or your child, um, all of those subtle differences are important to someone that defends this for a living. Um, so you need the knowledge. You need to tap into the knowledge of someone who's experienced and knowledgeable and knowing what to do with those individual facts in order to help that individual with that specific case. So uh, the answer is um, yes, uh, you will need some help. You do, do need someone uh, with a professional knowledge to take a look at it to help you along. And that may inevitably mean that you need to retain someone to actually fight this ticket for you. I'm going to encourage you to use OTD Legal. I know the company. I am the company. We can help.